الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله This is advice to the Salafi youth and the reason for this because there is so much confusion so many people who attack da'wah to Ahl Sunnah and attack Salafiyin there are so many people who claim to be Salafi and we know al-ibra bi haqaiq laysa bi musammiyat that the proof in something is in its reality not in its name so it's very important that we actualize Salafiyya but that means we have to understand Salafiyya in order to be and have shaja and bravery upon the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the deen al-haq which is salafiyya which is the da'wah of ahl sunnah then you have to know what it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem wa sabakun wa sabakun al-awwalun min al-muhajirin wal ansar wal ladina tabuhum bi ihsan radiyallahu anhum wa radu anhu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about the Sahaba radiyallahu tal'anhu majma'een walau kari al-kafirun walau kari al-hizbiyun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem wa sabakun al-awalun min al-muhajirin wal ansar and those who preceded from the first ones from the muhajirin wal ansar the muhajirin meaning ahlam mecca who made hijra to medina who were they? they were the Sahaba radiyallahu tal'anhu majma'een and the Ansar, who are they? The, the, Sahab, the Sahaba that were in Medina, from Ahl Medina, who accepted them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions them in the Quran. وَسَابَكُونَ الْأَوَلُونَ مِنَ الْمُهَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنصَارِ وَالَّذِينَ تَبِعْهُمْ And those who follow them, بِإِحْسَانٍ In righteousness. And that means this righteousness is in aqidah, in creed, in fiqh, in saluk, in manners in all the aspects of the religion and mu'amalat and how we deal with one another. Those are the ones who follow them bi-ihsan. They follow them. And what is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says? Radiyallahu anhum. Allah is pleased with them. Wa radu anhu. And they are pleased with him. That's the sabeel al-mu'mineen. That's the siratullahi al-mustaqeem. This is the sabeel of the salaf. The Salaf al-Saleh. So when we talk about the Salaf, who we're talking about? We're talking about the Sahaba, radiyallahu ta'ala majma'een, the asl of the jama'ah. And we're talking about the tabi'een, those who followed the Sahaba, those who knew the Sahaba, those who took ilm and fiqh and manners from the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, radiyallahu ta'ala majma'een, wa rahimahumullah jami'an. And the itba'a. Atabi'een and those who follow them, their students. So this is what we mean by the salaf. And what is the dalil? What do we have as evidence for this to say we need to follow these people from the past? Allah, uh, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, "Khairun nasqarni, thumma ladina yulunhum, thumma ladina yulunhum." The best people are those who follow uh, uh, those who. Uh, from my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. Who are that? That's the Salaf. So it's those first three generations. What do the great Imams of the religion, there's so many countless statements, but we're going to be as brief as possible because we need this. We need this to know and to fulfill our duties and under the attacks that we are upon and under the divisions that we have. قال أبو حامد الغزالي إمام الغزالي said just so we have the تعريف of the سلف he said في لف السلف regarding the the terminology سلف he says إعلم أن الحق الصريح الذي لا مراء فيه عند أهل البصائر هو مذهب السلف أني مذهب الصحابة والتابعين إمام الغزالي he said Rahimahullah Ta'ala about the terminology the Salaf. He said, know that the truth, the 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 uh, pure truth, without any doubt, without any uh, that it, it's direct and it's pure, is that which that there is no debate about with the people of Basair, meaning the people of wisdom. He said, it is the madhab of the Salaf. This is why we say we're Salafi, because we're trying to follow the madhab of the Salaf. He said, it is the madhab of the Salaf. And then he said, meaning the madhab of the Sahaba and the Tabi'een. 
رحمهم الله ورضي الله عنهم أجمعين Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah wa, ibn, wa, wa Shawkani and these are the, of course the latter generations and we have so many athar of the Salaf uh, we could talk about uh, about this but Imam uh, ibn Taymiyyah he says Madhaba ahla hadith wa hum as-Salaf min al-Qurun al-Thalitha min al-Qurun al-Thalitha wa min salaka sabiluhum min al-Khalaf Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah talked about the Madhaba the Salaf he said Madhab al Hadith. He said the way or the the methodology or the the uh, the path of the people of Hadith, and he said, and they are the Salaf from the three generations, and whoever follows their path from those who came later. So this is why we say we're Salafi, because we're trying to follow that path, the path of Ahl Hadith, in Aqidah, in manners, in fiqh, in understanding of the religion, in minhaj, in methodology of how we practice this deen and understand this deen and how we make da'wah in Allah Azza wa Jal. The Prophet والسلام, let us know that we would divide and that that minhaj is your safety. The Prophet ﷺ said, If tarakat al Yahud ala ihtu wa sabi'in firqa, wa if tarakat al Nasara ala ihtu natain wa sabi'in firqa, wa sa taftarakuhu hadhi umma la thalatha wa sabi'in firqa, kullaha fin nara la wahida, kunna man hiya ya Rasulullah kala man kana ala mithli wa ma kana alayhi wa sahabi. The Prophet ﷺ said, The Jews were breaking the 71 sects, Christians 72 sects, my umma in the 73 sects, that's why we have Ashari, that's why we have uh, various Sufi groups and Turk. That's why we have uh, the various Hizbi groups. We have Akhwan Muslimin and we have uh, Jamaat Takfir wa Hijra. We have uh, Daesh. We have Al Qaeda. We have Boko Haram. We have a Shabab who drink all from the same well of Takfir and deviance. And we have uh, uh, all, all these various groups and Hizbi groups and sects. And the, perhaps there's a difference between sect and 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 uh, and. Um, and a jama'ah, ah, but we won't talk about. It. Well, let's be brief. A sect. We're talking about someone they unite on a aqidah. This is one uh, understanding of sectarianism that they unite on a creed, a unified creed, like the Ashadis, the uh, very uh, Mu'tazila, the Jahamiyyah, uh, the Khawarij. Even though they have different sects within them in different groups, a jama'ah ah is a group. They may not all have the same creed. For example, you can't say all of Jamaat Tablik is uh, Diobandi or Naqshbandi in their understanding. But you have even some people who have uh, a lot of Salafi and Athari creed, but yet they deviate in their minhaj, in their methodology of how they articulate that creed with Dawa. So then they unite with Jama'at Tablik and they're from that Jama'a. So this is the difference and I hope that's clear. Akhwana Muslimin is not all united upon a, uh, uh, a similar Aqidah. You have Ashadis that are Akhwana Muslimin. You have people who uh, have some Salafi uh, understanding in many aspects of creed that are from Akhwana Muslimin. But they are a Jama'a. They are a his versus uh, versus a sect and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best what is my advice to the Salafi youth my advice to the Salafi youth is beware of newly invented matters as the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said Kulu bid'atin dalala wa kulu dalalatin fin nar every innovation and innovation we're talking about innovation in the religion of Islam innovation innovative understandings of the creed you know newly invented creed newly invented types of ibadah in worship all of it is in the fire all of it leads astray and the prophet also said in the hadith of aisha he said that every bid'ah or every man amila amilan laysa alayhi amrana fuwran whoever innovates in this affair of ours will have it rejected meaning the bid'ah is rejected so when you hear people with new statements, new classifications of Salafiyyah even, some of the people say there's a political Salafi, and there's an apolitical Salafi, and there's a jihadi Salafi. These mustalahat, 
these divisions and 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 statements about Salafia are on, are not only incorrect, but they are taken really uslin from non-Muslims who are outsiders to Islam and outsiders to Salafia, and they have classified like Quentin Wiktorowitz, who has a classification of uh, Salafia into three categories, and what you find from Salafi so uh, from uh, Muslim so-called academics. Muslim so-called academics like Yasser, Dr. Yasser Qadi and others, they also embrace this. Yasser Qadi and others, some of them say there's eight categories of Salafia. They come up with all kind of things. But Salafia is a uniting in the usul. And it's a uniting in the understanding of creed and methodology. That is what makes someone Salafi. And when somebody goes against that creed or outside of that creed and they deviate from that minhaj, that methodology, then this is what will take them out of Salafia. That doesn't mean in every situation, again, when it comes to making this tatbiq or when we apply these principles like the application of takfir and the ap application of tabdir and the application of tafsiq, this requires ne knowledge and it requires knowing those conditions for do so and this is not the time and place uh, to do that. But my point is, ya Salafi youth, is don't be deceived by people like Dr. Qadi who is just taken on from all those uh, non-Muslim academics who classify Salafiyah to that. No, because someone does a conference or someone explains to the non-Muslims or goes on some forum or something and, and, and refutes terrorism, this does not mean this is a new Salafia. This does not mean this is a political Salafia. We say that the government of Saudi Arabia propagates Salafia. It is a Salafi government, regardless of mistakes that we all make. They are a Salafi government. They promote Salafia. They promote and support Salafia in general as their government policy. With that being said, with that being said, that lets us know that Salafiyya encompasses all the aspects of the deen. As our Imam, Imam Muqbil said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, that the Da'wah to Ahl Sunnah, it doesn't uh, go away from politics because there's a Sharia politics. Siyasa to Sharia. There is Sharia politics. So the fact is, our difference between Akhwan and Muslimin, for example, which is a political organization, is Salafiyah. We don't necessarily form political organizations and political parties to try to influence the government or take power from the government. La. This, so in this respect, you could say they are apolitical as a movement, the movement of Da'wah to Ahl Sunnah, or the movement of Salafiyah, or the minhaj or methodology of Ahl Sunnah to Jama'ah. We are not concerned with those political affairs necessarily, as far as taking power, as far as the methodology of how to assume power, like Akhwan al Muslimin and so forth. We focus our efforts primarily on da'wah ila Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is the reformation as Imam al-Albani mentioned tasfiyah wa tarbiyah that this will make the purification of the individual and the purification of the society so Salafi you don't be confused with deviant people with deviant classifications that go against the da'wah to Ahl sunnah which confuse the people and there's so many people that are even students of knowledge who are coming up and embracing these kind of classifications and propagating some very strange, distorted views, questioning great imams. Salafi also does not come from Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab, rahimahullah ta'ala, nor does it come from Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah or Shaykh al-Islam ibn al-Qayyum. La, abidin. But we embrace those great imams for their tamasik bi sunnah for their propagation of Tawheed and their propagation of the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and their reviving of the call to Tawheed and the reviving of the Madhab of the Salaf. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah wrote so much extensively you, you can't find a science that he didn't excel in. This is because Allah favored him and this is why we love him and we don't blind follow him. That does not mean he's free from mistakes. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said all the children of Adam make mistakes, but the best of those who sin or make mistakes are the Tawabun, those who make repentance to Allah Azza wa Jal. So 
our dawah is not restricted to the kalam of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, but what you will find in the books of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah and Shaykh al-Islam ibn al-Qayyim especially is they detailed a lot of these masail that you might not find some of those details and in intricate uh, analysis from the Salaf because the Salaf were very direct and very uh, pure in their speech. They didn't have to explain because the people knew. The people of their time, they knew. And why we explain these books is because we are far removed from it in the language. Even our, a lot of our scholars are not on the same level of language. We have to learn Arabic. The Arabs learn Arabic. The, and to be able to uh, understand these texts and understand them in their proper proper context and and so on and so forth. So it's very important for us to have this understanding that Salafia encompasses everything, creed, worship, manners, uh, and your dealings on how you deal with people, the fiqh fi deen. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives them understanding of the religion, that understanding, that fiqh fi deen comes from the madhab of the salaf. As Imam uh, Ibn Rajab mentioned, he wrote a book, Fadl al-Salaf al the, 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 the greatness, the superiority of the salaf over those who came later. So don't think that Imams now are on the level of the salaf, the salaf al-Saleh, even if they follow the salaf al We love them for their adherence to the sunnah, but their fiqh, their their uh, insight and their closeness and fadl to the Prophet وسلم, make gives them precedence. It gives them precedence and they are superior. Another important point that we have to deal with Ahabit is that Salafiyah is relevant. It is relevant. No matter what the people say, there are so many modernists so many liberal so-called Muslims, so many people who are anti-Sharia, who don't even understand what Sharia means in the West and in the East. These movements of deviance, these movements of distortion of pristine Islamic principles, they will get rid of so much of the text and so much of the Sunnah to where they can try to say communism is in accordance with Islam. Or all these other ideologies and movements, democracy and everything else, that they replace Islam and, and with, with, with uh, these new ideologies and these new forms of, of uh, and new ideologies. So it's very important to understand that Salafia is relevant, that the fiqh that we apply, that a soul never goes away. That asul, that foundation, those foundation principles, they never go away. That's what makes you a Muslim. That's what distinguishes you from disbelief. It's those foundation pr principles, the principles of Ahl Sunnah with Jama'ah in Aqidah and in Fiqh. Yes, we have new issues. Yes, we have contemporary problems. Yes, every society has their particular needs. Yes, I come from an African-American background. Our African-American community has different needs than others in our society, in the US, United States of America. Likewise, Afro-Caribbeans in France have a different issue than uh, whites uh, that are in France. The point being, Ahabit is the usul remains the same. The foundation remains the same, but what the needs of that society has, perhaps they may need other, it, they have other issues and other uh, things that they face. So those needs can be met through the menhaj of the Salaf. Those needs can be met by the Aqidah and Creed and Fiqh of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. So it's very important, Ahabit al that a soul does not change. Because if we listen to these people who, who propagate gay marriage, gay imams marrying, instead of saying, okay, I'm a wicked sinner, and I'm an imam and I'm gay, I'udhu billah min dhalika. Instead of accepting that, they want to go and distort and destroy everything, every usul in Islam, and make the unlawful lawful. Instead of saying that, yes, he's doing haram, and he should feel sorrow, and he should make repentance, and work on his sin, they legitimize their sin by making ibtal, by, by, by negating the whole sharia, wa'iyadhin billah, the whole Islamic uh, aqidah and, and, and methodology and fiqh. 
Salafia, again, Ahabatifillah, is that we can't allow anyone to hijack Salafia. If Daesh, if these extremist groups say they're Salafi, we have to disprove that, which we are doing and our ulama are doing. They have shown that these people have distorted with their ghulu, their extremism, their slaughtering, their no respect for Islam, no respect for uh, uh, other faiths, no respect for anything that is human. But they just have a twisted ideology which they try to legitimize from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which the Quran and the Sunnah is free from those evil deviants. Likewise, you have people who try to hijack Salafia. They try to hijack Salafia either by throwing the principles away, as they say, Mumayyah. They throw away all the usul of Ahl Sunnah, but they still want to claim that they're Salafi. Throwing everything away. They do everything that Ahl Bidah does. Introduce new principles in the religion. They throw it away. Likewise, you have another party on the other side of the spectrum who are so extreme that they follow like the Tekfiris. They follow like the Tekfiris. How do they follow like the Tekfiris? That they make tibdi of everyone. You sneeze, you're Mubtadiya. You don't follow exactly like I am, you're Mubtadiya. You give da'wah with this one, even though da'wah is supposed to spread Islam. The Prophet wasallam spread Islam to who? To non-Muslims, to mushriks. So why wouldn't you give da'wah to the people of Bid'ah? Why wouldn't you give da'wah to other Muslims? That is from the usul of Islam. But some people are so extreme, they negate giving a lecture in a masjid which is non-Salafi. How are you going to spread the Tao of Ahl Sunnah if you don't show them with your good manners, if you don't show them ilm, wa fiqh, and basira, if you don't show anybody anything, what are you going to spread? So there's a, there's a group of people who claim Salafiyyah, who develop his traits by uh, being so extreme and forming their own group, which is not from Salafia. We don't get this from the scholars. And a last thing I want to mention is do not speak ill of the ulama of Ahl Sunnah, whoever they are. Yes, they're the ulama of Ahl Sunnah. I'm hearing more and more people speak about Imam Rabi bin Hadi al Madkhali. He's an Imam. He's an Imam of Ahl Sunnah. He makes mistakes and he is correct, as all of our Imams make mistakes and are correct, but he's still an Imam who put in the time, who's left a plethora of beneficial works. So when we hear people say the Medkhalis, or the Medkhali sect, or the Medkhali Hizb, we reject that categorically. Reject it categorically, Ya Don't listen to people who say this. Do not listen to people who distort this and say that there is a Medkhali sect of Sheikh Rabi and Sheikh Muhammad bin Hadi and Sheikh Zaid Medkhali and others. La, we don't say that. Does that mean we take everything that our imams don't make mistakes? No, we don't say like the Shia that they're infallible. No, we don't say that. No, we don't agree. If you have the knowledge to go into Messiah, you're not going to agree with everything your sheikh says and everything. But you have to have the tools to be able to do that. You have to have the tools to be able to have that. And that comes from fiqh fi deen. That comes from studying. Talab al-ilm faridatun ala kulli muslim wa muslimin. Seeking knowledge is a, an obligation upon every male or female muslim. So we have to have knowledge. Likewise, those people who say jamia, talking about sheikh, uh, uh, Sheikh uh, Muhammad Aman, a Jami, an Ethiopi, Rahimullah Ta'ala, who's a great Imam of Ahl Sunnah, who stood strong in Ahl Sunnah. But does that mean we agree with every uh, uh, issue that we agree with, especially in issues of Ijtihad and make it a big Sheikh uh, 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 Muhammad Aman had problems with Sheikh Mukbil? How many Imams of Ahl Sunnah? If you come to Saudi Arabia, you'll find some of them, they spoke bad about uh, Sheikh Mukbil, or they disagreed with Sheikh Mukbil. And he's our great Imam who we love. But we don't make ta'asab. We have to look at the issue. Where did they disagree? Was it a personal issue? Yes, sometimes it's personal. Was it an issue of, uh, of, of fiqh or their understanding? It could be, perhaps be issues in that too. Okay, the point being, Ahabatifillah, is no one is free from mistakes. And Salafia does not make us blind follow. Salafia does not make a, a new type of taqlid to our imams. We love our imams. And they yusibu yukhti. They make mistakes and they're correct. 
And if you find a group of people who make you follow, says Sheikh Rabi said, Sheikh Fadeh said, Sheikh Falah said, Sheikh Ibrahim said, on every issue, and they want you and they make ilzam of you, if you don't agree with them, they take you out of the dawah. Then beware of those people because they are calling you to Hizbiyah. It doesn't matter. The proof of something is in its reality, not in its name. They could claim Salafi all, all day and all long, all night. But if they're calling you to make Ta'asab, to blind follow them, if they're calling you to have their narrow understanding on everything in fiqh, oh, you made, you removed your finger, you're a Mubtadiyah. Imam so-and-so said that's da'if, you better accept it. La. But Imam so-and-so said it's sahih, or he said it's uh, Hassan. So where is this, this whole, the whole history of Islam has been built upon this. It wasn't built upon making ilzam and forcing the people to follow your view, to follow your tatbiq on a particular individual. So there's so much to say, Habit al My advice to the Salafi youth is stay strong. Stay strong in the minhaj. Don't let people take you off the minhaj. Don't let people confuse you. Study. Seek knowledge. And this will give you insight. So then you can see the haq between battle. So you can see when somebody just wants you to blind follow them and follow this. Or someone is throwing away all the, the, the principles of the sunnah. You, you'll be able to see this. And you'll be able to understand. Salafi is one. Salafia is one. When we see people making mistakes, even if they're consistent mistakes, that does not reflect Salafia. That does not mean that is a new type of Salafia. And that's what we have to understand. And we say this with strength. We say this planting our spear in the ground. That Ahlul Sunnah is one. There's only one Salafi Minhaj. There's not Salafiyat or Salafiyun as far as different groups and different sects. وَعِيَذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika nushiru bika wa ana astaghfiru liman a'lamu. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.